Thank you for joining Zoom in with Renee. I'm Dr. Renee Mera. Today, my guest is a Thai Indian singer, songwriter, and she's carved a niche for herself, not just in Bangkok and Mumbai. She's making waves in the United States. She's Remy Nick. Thank you, Remy, for joining us from California today. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Yes. And uh, you started um, singing gospel music, hymns, Shabbats, and you sing in different languages, different styles. Um, you sing in Thai, Hindi, English, Punjabi, Spanish, maybe another language <laughs> coming up soon as well. So share with us your music journey from your childhood days to now. Um, well, um, I grew up singing Shabbat Kirtan mainly, like born into a Sikh family, you know, singing in Gurdwara like every parent makes you do, but I loved it. And, um, but I also went to an American international school. So at home it was Shabbat Kirtan. And then in school it was like gospel, okay. r and I was in like an acapella group. You know, I got, I would say like soulful and spiritual music from both angles, mm. which is kind of how I started initially. And then I just kept singing because it made me really happy. And that's how I started singing in the first place. So I started singing. I sang for a lot of charity stuff. I, um, by time, even during college, after I graduated from high school, we went to college and I was in an acapella group there and I had a college band. So music was always in my life, even it wasn't, even if it wasn't in the forefront of my studies per se, yeah. like, yeah, so I've just been singing and dancing and acting that whole thing ever since I was a kid. That's great. <laughs> like a walking, talking cartoon, like That's a Broadway awesome. musical all the time. Awesome. That was me. And you, were in, me, um, I mean. yeah. you were in India's Raw Star, then you were top five on stage, and then you were the Voice Thailand season two, and then you got into your foray into the Indian film industry was with anybody can dance too. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, that journey has been, it's been magical. And um, even my journey to India wasn't really planned. I was on the voice Thailand after I graduated from college and um, yeah. So on the voice Thailand, when all the four chairs turned, they're like, wait a second, you don't look Thai. And I'm like, <laughs> So a Dika, like speaking in Thai and they're confused and they're like, you look Indian. And I was like, here it goes. I have to explain myself again. It's like never Thai enough, never Indian enough. People are just yes, confused. It's typical stereotypes that people are looking for. Yeah. Yeah. The third culture kid where people are like, wait, what? How can you speak Thai? And I'm like, <laughs> okay. They're like, wait, do you sing in Hindi? It's like, yes. And then I sang um, Piyu Bole, that song. Yeah. I don't, do you know it? Yeah, let's just hear from you a few lines. Be you bully. There goes some. Be you bully. Be you bully. Kya ye bully. Chanuna. De hi chum pate hai. Pate jo dil ki hai. Dil hi me rakna piya. So. It's such a pretty song. It's such a beautiful song. They put me on the spot and I froze. So that's like the first song I thought of. Wow. And, yeah. <laughs> And then I think someone in India and Honey Singh and the team, they, they saw mm -hmm. me and then they invited me to be on India's Raw Star. And mm -hmm. me as a, you know, like, wow, I, maybe I can connect to my roots, you know, yeah. connect to India, even though mom is from Ludhiana, from Punjab. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you just go visit summertime, it's not, you don't really live in India. You don't really, you're not assimilated into the culture as much. Right. So I took that, this as an opportunity I went and then like India just didn't let me leave really for, for, for a while. Yeah. <laughs> like after, after ABCD2, I mean, after India's raw star, then I got my break on ABCD2. Mm, that's anybody so, can dance. Mm, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because on India's raw star, I, um, I had fun. I would, I, there was some music that I mixed. I wrote like Spanish lyrics on it, changed mm. the rap part, you know, just have wow. it. Wow. Yeah. Be me. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was listening to some of your rap stuff. I really like I'm a hustler. You know, there's more to it than the pretty face. I thought it was really great, you know. Thank you. I just took yeah. a few lines from here there. And I, connected. I, I, uh, I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. <laughs> and then you, you've, uh, you've worked with a lot of musical greats, Save Our Money, uh, Naveen Kumar, Silence is a Bliss, and then uh, Workout Song with Sunny, uh, for Sunny yeah. Leone. Yeah. It's been, and the, and the Chamiya song, my God, incredible, unbelievable. Yeah, it's actually 40 million views now on YouTube. It's oh, my God. Wow. Look at that. No. Yeah, it's been. Yeah, I think it's I think it's hit 40 million now. Yeah, really? that project that's... was fun for me. And that's with yeah. DJ Bravo, right? Yeah. So and I think because like being in India and being just a playback singer is not really my vibe, I would say, because I like to compose. I like to write. I have so much in my mind and in my head creatively that I want to, you know, put on paper or put it out. So, mm. or you can say that's what an artist is, you know, and some, and I mean, I feel pretty privileged that even on ABCD2, Sachin Jigar, the music composers, like kept a verse open and just told me to write my mm. English part and write the Spanish part and create the melody. And I just went for it. And so, Usually singers just sing, but I got to like write and compose my part, which is amazing. And I didn't even know how amazing it was at that time. Mm -hmm. And then now when I look back into it and yeah, so I think with the confidence, knowing that I can do it and the Chamiya song, I got to take more charge, not just, you know, being the singer, but creatively thinking about it, the process, the storyboarding, um, wow. writing, writing his lyrics, being part of more than just just coming into the studio and doing the singing and leaving, yeah. but taking being a part of it. Like it's your baby. Yeah. That's like is, a whole picture. You know, that really, it's more of like an organic way of looking at music and singing. And because you've written it from your, it's from coming from your own heart and gut. So yes. it, it has a very different uh, take on it. So share a few lines from the Chamya song, especially the one that you um, wrote. Um, oh, the I wrote I wrote Bravo's part because when Bravo heard oh, Bravo heard Bravo's the song, part? it was yeah it was a, a demo part, and then he because um, the rest is in Hindi, so I write in English mm. and Spanish if I have to Hindi. There's a beautiful lyricist, so many amazing lyricists in India that do it justice, you know. Because yeah. I'm not born and brought up in India, so I can't. I know that I know even the words or the loves or the whatever you call it, the lyrics that come, it's from someone there. It makes it's just more genuine and authentic. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so Bravo's lyrics are kind of party lyrics because it suits, you know, yeah. his vibe. So it's like, but my part is like, dance like a chamiya, oh naughty na janiya. Dance like a chamiya, oh yeah. Bula ke jaha, meri sadhya. Rati ko sadhya kar de subah. And then bravo, come on, let's move it. Oh, let me see you whine, girl. We're gonna make it. Let's dance around the world. Wanna hear you say, hey, shake it every day. Hey, you're the only champion in every kind of way. Wow. <laughs> That is so amazing, really. That's great. Um, and then, uh, you know, you mentioned many times that you believe in the originals rather than remixes and remakes because this is what you are. This it brings your own identity out, your uniqueness out, who Remy is. Really, you know, uh, putting yourself in a different dimension out there, and it's great because it it cuts you above the rest in many ways. Thank you. That that means a lot because sometimes the journey of, you know, putting it all out on your own is quite difficult. <laughs> and um, yeah, and it's been it's definitely been a journey, but I feel like my soul feels nourished, I think, when mm -hmm. I'm doing the kind of music that is just from the heart and some lyrics that are fun and party and some lyrics that are very meaningful and very emotional. Yes. And you can be all sides, you know, mm -hmm. and that's just because music has no boundaries and you want to sing in Spanish, sing. You want to sing in a different language, sing. Like whatever comes to you, there's no boundless. Yeah. yeah. So. And what you said, it's so meaningful. Your soul gets nourished. It's so very important because that's what music does. 
especially uh, yeah. looking at classical music, whether it's Western classical music or Indian classical music, it really uplifts you. It takes you to a to higher spiritual realms. And and you come from the background of shabbats and kirtans and gospel music and hymns. Uh, this only adds in, you know, puts in that component there. So, uh, you know, the whole yeah. being is nourished like that. You want to, uh, I love one of your songs that was on Simran. You want to uh, sing a little bit? Uh, of that? Yeah, so the yeah, Simran, um, yeah, sure, I'll sing it for you. It's more like a meditation. Yes, um, it's very meditative, yeah. So it goes, <clears throat> Sat. Sate Nam Vahi Guru Sate Nam Vahi Guru Sate Nam Vahi Guru Sate Nam Vahi Guru Prithim Pangoti Simriki Guru Nanak Lithiyai Fir Angad Guruti Amridas Ramdasi Keeps going. Uh, it's, 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 it's so beautifully sung. It really connects you to your higher state of consciousness. So that was that was really Thank you. yeah grounded. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. Really balances you out. Especially you know we've gone for the last two and a half years of so much of uh, uh, emotional you know challenges and grief and anxiety. Oof. Uh, so yeah resilience is so very important it really is and like I know enough now that I'm quite an empath and I can feel a lot and sometimes it overwhelms me and so music sometimes I just sing like this to myself to just ground myself because sometimes mm -hmm. I feel like I said anxious overwhelmed and especially in the pandemic of course, we all, it was a collective feeling. We all went through it together, you know, yeah. all kinds of emotions and we're all connected at the end of the day, we feel. And um, yeah, and I don't know if you had a chance to listen to We Are Hope by any chance, that song. Yeah, and, and it's, uh, it brings a lot of positivity, you know. Yeah, and actually that I decided to put that song out in the middle of the pandemic yes. without, you know, I didn't really have, you know, you go shoot a music video, that whole process, I didn't have that. All I had was just me at home. I even sang the vocals like, you know, under a blanket in like a home mic and, you know, and the the video as well. It's just um, not even of me. It's just a lot of images and things that I found that would represent the lyrics. So I wrote that to comfort myself and people hoping that maybe just if someone hears it, it'll just make them feel better. And um, and I wasn't afraid to talk about the fact that life can be hard sometimes, but you know, you can also be positive. Hence, we are hope. And I think the the, the first lyrics is um, um, how I want I want to learn to love myself, but I'm only human. I'm scared that I'm all alone. Where is my home? It feels like an uphill battle. I'm worthy of a second chance. There's more than this something place I forgot. More than this love, a hero in all of us. We are hope. We are the hope. You have to be the voice. Just one choice can change the world. So, things like that. Wow. It's just how you look at life and you can... Um you know, sort of shift in your paradigm, you know, how you look at it, glass half full, glass half empty. Exactly. You, it with, you know, life gets it's all mindset. It. It's, it's all, all mindset. perspective. Yes. And like, I feel like sometimes maybe with music, you can nudge people to a, maybe a different kind of mindset or a positive mindset because music, for me, it just, it taps in. Like music can manipulate, honestly, if that's why it's very, it's very important what kind of music people put out there, I feel. Um, Absolutely. That's just a personal thing, but. No, I, I definitely believe the same thing because it should heal, it should be cathartic, it should be something like creating a message so that people are able to, uh, you know, move on with life with more hope and with more energy. 
and and it's exactly. refreshing and rejuvenating. So that's how I look yeah. at you know music as well. Soul food, yeah, soul, yes, food. Yes, soul food. Music Absolutely. has music has saved me so many times, like yes. so many times, and it's like knowing that I can share it with the world. What more do I want in life? I feel blessed that I'm even able to do this. So right. it's been beautiful. Yeah, no complaints. Absolutely. Do you meditate a lot? Yes, I, I do. No matter where I am, I try to do yoga yeah. in the morning. Yoga and meditation kind of just grounds me. It moves because I am the kind of person being very emotional. I keep a lot of emotion stuck in my body, mm. you know, and it becomes you, you can just feel it. I'm a feeler. I can feel yes. and I and I can see that it's stuck in my body and doing yoga. It's not even the sport part of doing yoga how in the western way yoga has become yeah. such a sport but i think That's yoga nice. is more it's more mental than anything exactly. else and it's the alignment of your and, body mind and soul connected to your circadian it, rhythm so exactly that's what and your chakras and everything there's so much to tap into the world is so vast and sometimes i'm like why didn't we learn all this in school yes, exactly. <laughs> why why exactly you taught from like it's it should be a class we are kindred because spirits with, that's what i keep saying you know our children should be taught enhance their spiritual quotient bring quiet time in schools because that is so very important we ground them like from the day one from exactly day 12, that's it you know it's tools it's like medicinal tools let's put it that way even like i'm talking about not just in the meditation even in the food we never learned that food can be medicine you know that's the other thing like just those things is like, why, why do we have to learn this now after we have, we have to go out and do it in our own way when we're paying so much in school systems, like teach yeah. us, yeah. teach us that. But that's a whole another thing. But yeah. um, Buddhist yeah. medicine, yoga, meditation, this is a holistic way of looking for a wellness and staying healthy and positive. So I exactly. totally believe in all this, you know, it's just, yeah, amazing. me too, to the point yeah. where my siblings are like, oh, sis, you're such, Didi, you're such a hippie. I was like, whatever. <laughs> oh, you, you're like a musical person. You probably, you're probably the one who goes and hugs trees. I was like, honestly, I would hug a tree. What's wrong with that? But yeah. I was like, these are just funny side comments about my personality. I believe that very strongly. People who have that kind of mindset, I think there's, uh, they're very more successful. I mean, I'm talking of success, not just monetary way of looking at it, but success yeah. being actually getting that inner happiness. So that is so very yeah. important for me. That is successful. That yes. is the, that is the meaning of success. Exactly. And um, yeah, it's been beautiful. So tell me what's coming up next from Bring Up the Chamiya song. It's 40 million views and going <laughs> up still. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been beautiful. And of course, I've worked with other composers and producers for music that, you know, will come out in its due time. Um, but I'm taking this time to, like I said, I'm here in the States now and exploring and expanding here because I feel called to be here. So I am here. Mm -hmm. And um, that's just what I'm doing. And um, also honored to be performing in Times Square, yeah. October 15th. Part of Manhattan. For the Bali. Yes. Yes. The lineup is pretty awesome. There's Arjun Artists and then there is Jay Sean performing mm -hmm. and there's going to be a lot of amazing acts. So I'm excited to just... Um, embrace and meet the community here as well and yeah yeah i'm excited and uh that's it and i'm also working on my uh ep right now my mm -hmm. album and working on music that that really moves me um and i'm mixing whatever that makes sense to me but it's more it's a song that's more r b soul with a little bit of rag i'm mixing in and mm. and things like that and one of the songs that i'm working on it's called moonshine mm -hmm. and not moonshine like there's a drink here yes. not that okay. but because i feel very connected to the moon always have just all like even full moon is again i think this weekend but i feel like i'm affect not affected by the moon but i feel like there's some connection there and i wanted to honor it and it was during the full moon that i was like moved to write this song and i wrote it kind of for myself as well it was at the end of the pandemic and um yeah, the lyrics um, are meaningful, meaningful mm -hmm. lyrics and soulful with some rag. So I'm super excited about that. And I also uh -huh. was yeah. able to shoot some of the footage uh, underwater. And wow. 
you know i'm a pisces i can't i love the water oh my god so, wow so yeah I got, I got to shoot some of the underwater it's an it's all this is just me just um independent gonna work on my own ep don't have to wait on anybody and just i have honed the skills from practice from doing chamiya song from doing bollywood playback songs from writing from composing everything now i have the confidence where i was like you can do this i am scared and nervous but you can do this put it out put out the music that you really want to put out there's no brief for this movie for this character for this artist for this actor it's just you like if you wanted to put out a song what would you put out so that is what i'm working on right now wow share a few Super lines excited. i know it's, it's going to be like some turn. good vibes um um I'll sing the chorus a little bit. Okay. Oh. Moonshine, don't you want to see it? Come out and come feel it. You just want to be it. Moonshine, don't you want to see it? Come out and come feel it. You wouldn't believe it. This more. Wow, it's awesome. You know, I love the one I can't stop falling in love with you. You know, that's Elvis Presley. Ah, I loved it. The way you sang was awesome. Say one oh, more. I'm friend. so happy. Okay. Yeah. Wise men say only fools rush in, but I can't tell. Falling in love with you. Kutiti amahiya. Kutiti amahiya. Mili nita mili aake. Nita kasimanu ka mahi. Keeps going. Awesome. I think everybody will fall in love with you after this song. It is so well done. I love it. I, I, I fell in love with that song when you sang that. I said, oh my gosh, she is so great. That's when I picked up the bonus. I'm going to call her and let her have come out on my show. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I love that song. I think I will be performing it in Times Square because I've gotten really good feedback on, on that mix. What do we see from Remy after that song you talked about, the underwater one, and anything else coming up in the works in uh, um, Mumbai? or in Bangkok. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's no, there's a lot happening right now. It's show season. So traveling for, you know, shows and performances, wherever the music takes me, I will get on a plane and go there. The stage is home for me. Everything else is, right. comes and goes. Was a stage, else. Remy, was a stage. And you it can perform really is. anywhere. <laughs> I know, I feel so privileged to be able to do that. And um, yeah, so, you know, after here, I might go to India for some work, for some recordings, and because I sing in lots of ads and commercials as well, and I do voiceovers, mm. and um, mm. that's a whole other thing, you know, singing for Coca-Cola, Mitsubishi, Samsung, it's been, it's been it's fun. So Amazon, that's like a, Samsung, you know, you've done yeah, the brand. Yeah. yeah, so that, that's fun, because so, I get to, it's like a acting, kind of, because I, it's voice acting, because I, I enjoy because I in in school I was in like Broadway musicals a lot. I don't know mm -hmm. if you um, I was I played Evita, Evita. Oh, okay. Do you know that? Uh, what's that song? Don't cry for me, Argentina. Yes. The truth is, I never Miss Saigon. So I Broadway musicals is fun. So when I when I do act like voice acting or in commercials, it's fun because I get to play different characters. Like I have to be the mom or I have to be the kid mm. or like the sexy salt sultry vogue voice they say so it's fun for me yeah i have fun it never feels like work so. yeah when you don't feel it's work then that's when life really becomes great your work is not work it's just total fun and you're putting yeah. all your soul and your heart in it you know exactly and i'm not saying like it's all sunshine and bubbles it's tough yeah. but it's just like i said it's what you uh I guess give weight to you know what you put your mind towards and no, i'm not saying to push it under the rug too when it gets hard more like face it go through it but there's light there is light so i like i said i stay hopeful and positive right that is yeah. so great well thank you so much for me looking forward to your 
Times Square performance in New York City, <laughs> and you. then the future is all yours. And so yeah. when you come back to US, do give us a call, and I'll be there again to do another interview with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be here for for a while now, so I'll be around. Oh wow, so you're around. Okay. Hopefully, great. we get to meet in person someday yes, too. Yes, it would be absolutely. lovely. Absolutely, it will be. Yeah. Thank you very much Thank for you. me, Nick. I'm Dr. Renee Mero. Stay healthy, stay positive. Thank you.